In this video, I'll show you how to add a powerful WooCommerce sidecar widget to your web store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are in our WooCommerce store and here you can see our sidecar widget here as well. We can change the position so we can show it at the bottom right or the bottom left. Currently, I've got it displaying on the right. And if we click on this sidecar widget here, here we can see a few key information. So we're showcasing our free shipping bar to encourage customers to spend more to qualify for free shipping. So we can see our free shipping bar here. We can see the item quantity and customers are able to go ahead and remove or add items to their basket directly within this sidecar widget here. So we can increase the quantity if we like. Okay, so when we scroll down further, we can see this shipping insurance upsell here. So if the customer wants to protect their items, they can go ahead and purchase that shipping insurance. And as we scroll further down as well, we've got our coupon. So customers can go ahead and enter in their coupon directly within a side cart. And then we can check out or we can continue shopping. It's up to the shoppers. And one last thing before we move on, I want to show you a cool thing about this particular sidecar widget. Let's say, for example, if a customer were to purchase this particular product here, when we go ahead and add it to basket, straight away we can see our sidecar widget opens. Here we're displaying a specific um, upsell based on what the customers actually added in their basket. So since the customers purchased this um, camera, so we're upselling them with this camera bag um, carry case. Okay, and if they want, they can go ahead and click yes, add this to my order and it will automatically add it to their order. So we can go ahead and do this now. And here you can see we've added that upsell directly to our shopping cart. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. There's a free and a pro version. I'll show you the difference as we go through this tutorial. I'll also leave the link in the description below. Okay, so once you've done so, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard. And now the next step is to go ahead and upload the WeSuite all-in-one checkout plugin. Okay, so once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and navigate to AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. And then we can go ahead and configure our sidecar widget. Okay, so then we just go ahead and click on mini cart. In future, this might change. So the wording might change to side cart, um, but currently it's set to mini cart. Okay, so we'll just click on mini cart here. So I'm going to quickly disable um, some of these settings and then I'll walk through step by step what each one's doing. Okay, so let's go ahead and disable these. Okay, so the first step in your case is you'll go ahead and enable the site cart widget. And then here we've got the option to display it at the bottom left or the bottom right. Currently we're displaying it at the right. If you've got the pro version installed, you can go ahead and add various um, different upsells to the site cart widget, like I showed in the intro. Okay. So in this case, you just go ahead and enable this option to show the upsells within the site cart widget. We've also got the option to enable our coupon field. So you can set this to disable if you want. Okay. And then in terms of the upsell position, we can show it at the bottom of the um, side cart or at the top of the side cart. Okay. And then this option here, Again, if you've created an upsell, typically with an upsell, you'll offer some kind of discount to entice um, customers to go ahead and purchase, right? So let's say, for example, on uh, the camera bag, which we showed in the intro, let's say that was a hundred dollars, for example, right? And we was given a 10% discount, so it'd be $90, right? Personally, what I recommend is not to display the upsell with a discount within the site cart area. And the reason being is we're also going to show that same upsell on the checkout page, but this time we'll show it with the the discount okay so you've got two opportunities to upsell customers on that particular product okay so if you did want to show the discount within the um, side cart you just go ahead and enable this option and then it would show $90 for that particular bag for example okay well I'm gonna leave it disabled as I said and then here we'll go ahead and enable this option to allow um, customers to actually go ahead and add the upsell directly within the side cart widget Okay, and then we've got the option as well to enable a free shipping progress bar. So just like how we saw um, here, we can display a free shipping bar here. Okay, so if we enable this free shipping bar option, we can go ahead and set our threshold. Okay, without without a currency symbol. Okay, so in this case, it's $100 and it will inherit the currency of your particular store. Okay, and then here we can customize the free shipping message. So for example, 
let's say a customer um, has added an item to cart which is ten dollars then this is the first message that will show so you can go ahead and customize that message okay and then in terms of the amount that's remaining we can go ahead and customize that message as well and then finally when they've um, unlocked free shipping we can go ahead and customize that menu but if you leave it blank it will use the default um, language that we've actually created okay and then the last two options we've got is we can enable this option so when a customer adds a product to basket it will automatically open our side cart okay and then finally we've got the option as well so if we enable this option we can actually replace the actual cart page with our side cart widget with this option you do need to navigate to the front end and then we'll basically have to copy the cart id okay or the cart class for example in this case here we can see we've got a class which says cart contents okay so if we copy this and then if we go ahead and paste it here and then hit save and then when we refresh this page or if we go to any other page okay and then when we click on our cart settings so when we click on it here you can see opens our mini cart widget right so here it just replaces the cart page so the customer can go ahead and manage everything all from the site cart. So that reduced the number of steps um, required for the customer to go ahead and check out. So hopefully that should help increase your conversion rate. Okay, so let's navigate back to our dashboard and I'll show you how we configured our order bump, okay? So again, this is a pro feature. So if you go ahead and click on order bump here, here you can see a list of all the different order bumps which I've created. And then to add a new one, we'll just go ahead and click order bump here, give it a name and click add order bump. But in this particular case, I'm just going to show you how I created this particular order bump. So I'm going to click on this one to edit it. And then the first thing you'll see is this product section here. So we can go ahead and add a product and then we'll just search for a product. Okay, for example, I've added this product here. So we can offer um, various types of discounts. So we can offer a percentage discount based on the product sale price, a fixed amount off based on the sale price as well, and then also a percentage discount based on a regular price and a fixed amount off based on the regular price. So personally, I'll just go ahead and create a percentage discount um, based on the regular price. And then here we can say 15%, for example. Okay, and we can choose to specify a fixed quantity that a customer needs to add to cart to be able to redeem this discount, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and delete this option, okay, since we've already got this upsell here. So this is that camera bag upsell that I showed in the intro, and we can, currently we're not offering any discount, so we'll go ahead and offer a 10% discount, for example, okay? Okay, so for the behavior, we can choose whether we want to add the order bump to the cart or we can replace the items in the cart with the order bump, okay? And then here we can choose the display position. So this refers to displaying the order bump on a checkout page, okay? So on a checkout page, we can show it above the order summary, below the order summary, above the payment gateway, below the payment gateway and above the checkout form. Now let's leave it above the order summary for now. And then for the raw priority, we can set a specific priority here. So in the event, there's a customer that matches multiple different um, upsell rule. The rule with the highest priority will basically run for that particular customer. Okay. Okay. And then we can navigate over to the design section. And in here we can add our product title. So if we just enter in this short code here, it will display the product title here. And then we can add a description. For example, we can say okay and then for the cta for the call to action we can just say something like yes add this to my order okay so this is the display on the checkout page and then here we've got two different um, order bump styles so we can choose the default which is this one or we can choose the notification style so this is the style that we showed in the intro when i showed um, the shipping insurance um, upsell okay so i'm just going to leave it as a default design or we can choose whether we want to display the product image or not. Then we'll navigate to conditional rules. And then here we can set various criteria, right? So we can say no rule, and then it will basically, that upsell will display for all customers, okay? We can set it based on a specific um, cart total, the cart subtotal, the category total, um, the amount of items within a basket based on the shipping address or the billing address. And we'll add more um, conditions as time go on, okay? 
So here I've just set it based on the cart category, okay? And I'll just selected um, this photography category. So whenever a customer purchase something within a photography category, then we'll show this particular upsell, okay? Because it makes sense. So we'll just hit save. Okay, and then when we navigate over to the front end, okay, so if we navigate to this camera, I think we've already got it to cart. Okay, so let's say the customer didn't take us upon this offer. When we navigate over to the checkout page, okay, so here we can see that same upsell, but this time it's at a discounted price. So if the customer didn't take us upon our previous offer within the sidecar area, maybe we can tempt them by offering them a discount, okay? And then we can just go ahead and add this to cart by ticking that option. Okay, and it's added to our basket. So one last thing whilst we're on the checkout page. So this checkout design is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin as well. But I want to go ahead and enable cart editing, okay? And then we'll navigate to settings and then we'll just go ahead and enable cart editing. We can add a logo as well to our checkout. So we can choose this logo here. We can specify the whip. And then we can just go ahead and hit save. Okay, so now when we refresh our checkout page, we should see our logo here. Okay, so here we can see our logo. And now the customer has the option to go ahead and edit um, the items within their basket. Okay, so from here, we can go ahead and increase the quantity or we can reduce it to zero, which will essentially remove the item from our basket. Okay, and that's how you add a sidecar widget in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.